I, I thought once we'd done the market studies that we would actually be able to go fairly far. I had no idea. <laughs> you know, oh, I'd like to think so. Yeah. I think it'll be in new markets, maybe the Southeast Asia, uh, maybe even in the Chinese market. It's pretty, it's, it's very demanding as the kind of what will make a submarine work. You need a good market, you need protected water, nice corals and all those things. There's not a huge um, a number of sites in this part of the world that we haven't, we aren't in basically. So I think the future is more areas that we, that are emerging, with these emerging economies that, uh, like China and Southeast Asia, that I certainly hope that. Oh, the original engineering drawings are all there for every submarine. There's about 1,200 drawings for every submarine. They're, they're, we just do it that way. They're not all that different, but there are little things each time you upgrade. As Like this submarine's been upgraded many, many times with new generations of motors and all those things. So as this submarine gets upgraded, those drawings will change because you can't just change a radio. You have to probably change the panel because they're never a different size. And then you have to get ABS to approve it. So, and that all requires drawings. So each sub is, so the first sub has got all the drawings. Yes, the, the dive sequence is that these ballast tanks, water ballast tanks, when the sub is ready to dive, you open valves and they flood with water. And that settles the submarine down into the, into the water. And then you turn on these vertical thrusters, which pushes the submarine down. <coughs> it's, um, the submarine is always kept positively buoyant. So that if at any time the power failed or whatever, it would automatically come up to the surface. Once the sub is down uh, to the maybe six feet off the bottom and begins a tour of the coral reefs, it's uh, powered by stern thrusters over here. Two of those that are rotatable for steering and there's a bow thruster to help maneuver the bow because the sub is to stay close to the reef so everyone gets a good view of it. It doesn't go, f it goes fairly slowly, maybe one or two knots, so you get a good look. Uh, at times we use these lights if, uh, if we do night dives or even during the day sometimes to bring the color out of the, out of the reefs. The other part of the diving process is the, while the sub's on the surface and while it's diving, there's always a, a support boat nearby or in fact when the sub is underwater the support boat is above it and that's to uh, sort of like a mother ship if you will the sub's not connected to it in any way but the, the, the officer on the support boat above it when the sub's on the surface talks over a, over a VHF uh, radio when the sub descends it talks they talk to each other through underwater telephones again the submarine's not connected to the surface in any way <coughs> 